Hold up, hold up, hold up. How did we get to this point? It might look like a random German Shepherd attacking a pit bull at the dog park, but there's more to this story. Now who's truly at fault? Let's rewind and see what led to this event. Navy. Navy. Okay, so we see him calling his dog and his dog is not responding to him at all. Zero control. He's nowhere near his dog and his dog is running up on other dogs. Navy! Look at his body language, his tail is up. That's aggression. Hey, hey, Navy! Navy! Golly. That's asserting dominance. He's chasing around other dogs with his tail up on alert. Luckily, the other dogs are being submissive right now and not challenging him, because he's definitely trying to assert himself as an alpha. Again, tail is staying up. He's challenging the other dogs. Luckily, they're just running off. Uh, nasty. <laughs> Navy, come here. Hey, 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 hey. Sit, hey, hey. Females. Don't know how to act. He has no collar on. The owner has zero control. No matter how many times he calls his dog, his dog is not responding to him. Sit. Let's go. Let's go. This way. Oh, dude. Once again, tail up, he's posturing, he's basically flexing on every dog in this dog park right now. If you know dog behavior, he has to grab him by his neck because he realizes his dog is starting to flex on every dog in that park. You should have a collar for this reason. If you need to control your dog, especially if he's untrained, you should be able to grab his collar or at least call, recall him, call him. You can't do either. You don't have a leash, you don't have a collar. He's totally unprepared at this dog park. Marking territory. This is an alpha dog. He thinks he's an alpha male. What kind of dog is that? He's gonna find out he's not. But right now he's under the assumption that he's an alpha male. Oh, that's the German Shepherd. He's taking off over there to see the German Shepherd. He's trying to do the same thing with this German Shepherd. He's posturing, he's flexing, his tail is straight up. He's trying to assert his dominance. The German Shepherd owner sees that. The German Shepherd isn't having it. Take that, take that. He's on him. He's on him. Look at him. You can't blame him. That's the first time you see this bully's tail down. Look at where his tail is now. Between his legs. He realizes he is an alpha. This is the owner's fault. You know where to run, don't you? Even after this event, he still doesn't put a collar on him. He doesn't put a leash on him. He still has no verbal control over the dog. This dog is just running loose. We're supposed to feel bad for him? Now, most of the time, pit bulls get a bad rap. But this time, it's the pit bull's fault. And as a pit bull breeder, I, I still have to say this is the pit bull's fault. American bully, whatever you like to call it. This is truly an American bully, but whatever. It's the dog's fault. There he is running up again, yet to another dog with his tail up. He still hasn't learned his lesson. The owner still hasn't learned his lesson. Hey, maybe come here, come here, come here. 
Yep, got him. Got him good around the hey. eye. This dog wasn't truly trying to attack the pit bull, though, or the American bully, because if he was, there'd be a lot more damage than this. He was just checking that dog. He was just letting him know what time it was. Look, you're not alpha. Quit oh, running up on me. Eye, Respect my personal he space. That's what that was. Come on, man. It's time to go. Brought to you by BGK's Dog Care Secrets and Breeding Tips. If you want to know how to help your dog reach its full potential, what dog food to use, what exercises to use, breeding tips to help you get the best out of your litter and make sure that your litter is safe and that your puppies develop right, then definitely check out this book. You can find it on BigGeminiKennels.com or on Amazon. Links are in the description.